Demon Elementals, Naga Pirate Undead. I see you. Man, it's so sad seeing Gallywix nowadays. Every time I see him, I'm like, oh, I wish it was a different meta. Too bad. Demons and Elementals. I wonder what this game's going to do. Lub it up? Nah, dog. That ain't happening. Just because you can go cheese lines doesn't mean you need to go cheese lines. But yeah. Not gonna... I know it's hard. It's hard not for, for people not to complain about cheese comps all the time. And you can, you can voice your opinions all you want. But I'm not gonna let it bleed all over the stream. You know? I've let that happen way too much in the past when people get all, all downer about shit. It's just a video game. The balance will be restored soon enough. It's not that big of a deal. Sometimes your voice is deep, but sometimes it goes so high. Maybe that's because I am so high. You ever think about that? Maybe that's the difference. Oh, that's just fucking bullshit, chat. And high off my own supply over here. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yo, what's up, Ben? Merry Christmas. Choose a zero armor hero. No greed, no tempo. Yeah. Vanilla AF. The vanilla hero power in the history of vanilla hero powers. On a side note, what's your favorite ice cream flavor, chat? Actually, better yet, better question. Chat, what's your favorite ice cream color? <laughs> I love those questions. The random bullshit ones like, hey, Bofer. Bofer, what's your favorite color of candle? The color of candle. Over here, like, considering scents. But the color? I guess, like, white. Because it's clean smelling. I don't know. Favorite color of ice cream is yellow. Uh, that's snow, bro. And you should avoid that patch. Lemon ice cream is the nuts. No, that's that's just called yellow snow. When dogs are around, there's a lot more of it. Transparent. It's just completely clear ice cream. Just like ice cubes. They do go well in drinks. You know what? I can't fight that one. Lob. Lob it up. Bro. 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 If we say we won't play cheese stuff and the game's just like, you sure? You're a man of discipline over here? You sure you're disciplined, Buffer? You sure? I'm sure. Fuck that cheese comp. Get out of my game. I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Have you tried a bofer? What, cheese comp? Gotta get this shit down. You gotta, like, push the roll button and you gotta buy the same two cards? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot to it. Way more nuance than we're giving it credit for. That one. Not that one. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Have I tried yellow snow? Yeah, it's, it's not great. Disappointing flavor. Lacks the complexity of most snow. Oakley doakley. Well, we need to go to four. We either tank a bunch of health here and go to four. Or we take like trickster plus busker plus trousers. And that way we can level next turn with the gold from the busker. The other alternative, I suppose, is you take Reef Riffer and you don't level next turn. You just play a turn on three with eight gold. Level the following turn with the last minion. We just play it super slow, but Reef Riffer with Trickster's better. Mm, pass. Like the game doesn't it gives Bofer the perfect duo for Orling, but Bofer doesn't believe it. It's not that I don't think it's good. It's obviously the correct play. It's just boring as shit to do the same thing over and over again. I know, I know some people are a lot newer here, but like, I don't play for rank one. 
I play this game to have fun with this game. I'm not playing a boring ass cheese comp, which does exactly the same method over and over again. Just because it's good. Hard pass. Hard pass. Give me a game that's fun to play, not one that's successful. Fun, interesting choices. That's all I'm asking for. All right, never mind. I guess we're just undead. Why did I even think I needed a level to four? What if we just undead the shit out of them? We can get, make them so dead with this board. Dog rage quit battlegrounds get today. I mean, it's it's a trash meta, man. Like, I love spells. I think they're a great addition to the game, but there are certain things that you have to get through whenever you add new mechanics. It's very much like when they added Naga to the game and Siren is ruining every game. We got to get through that, that time period before we can expose the good game, the fun game, the one behind the scenes that is going to be fun to play for a long period of time. Well, that's awkward. Wish you weren't so fucking awkward, bud. That was a good hit, though. Look at, look at the Corpse Refiner farming. Poor Corpse Refiner. I had to say his name. Just triple into Moros now. That's right. Just get it all, baby. We juicing? Actually, just juiced as fuck. Juiced AF. Get the fuck out of here. Undead, 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 undead pirate. Oh, that one's way better. Gotta make sure I buff these pirates. But isn't it you gerb? Well, if they come take my gerb. My gerb is to, is to play a video game on the internet. Nobody said I had to be successful at the game on the internet. I believe some refer to that as entertainment. Twitch chat. Online male entertainer. I mean, it is kind of good description. App description, correct. And in front of taunt. Ah, uh, nah. Lower quality value, a lower value from the trickster. You're just trying to, I'm assuming, max out corpse refiner value. It's not really my objective. The milk isn't as important as just consistency to win. Good. 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 All right, there's the 1.3 percenter. That was pretty much it. That was pretty much as bad as it gets. You got to get the reward over here. You got to have every value trade. This is dumb. I hate you, Blizzard. Why would you be this way? Well, I could sell you for six gold. You could double buy here. Good card. Meh. We need attack scaling. We need something, right? Like, we can't exactly win this game off of undead with no aura. Muted. Do you think it's... Do you think it's possibly just you? <laughs> You think if the only, only, everybody else in chat is just chilling here, just enjoying the silent content. <laughs> Does he know he's muted? Ofer doesn't know. He doesn't know he's muted. Everybody else is over here just enjoying the, the music. It was just me. You know, it's usually the, the takeaway if nobody else is saying anything. Nah, don't tell him. That's probably going to be the case. All right. Cool, 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 cool. We're 43 health. All the value in the world up on Tavern 5. High health. Let people start dying. Here for the dog cam fair. Maybe you have it muted too. All right. We got a sore loser for the short term. It's a pretty good hit. I don't know what this is going to do, but 
That could be a lot. Botany. Sinestra is pretty nasty for a board state. Botany is reasonable too. Considering what our board looks like at the moment. Steadfast doesn't make a ton of sense. We could go Botany and we could level. We could even try to bank gold. Last board we about that. Okay, okay, okay. What? There's a guy talking? I was just watching the dog snoozing. You know what? I can, I can change the game. I can just do it this way. You know, like we can just... There's gameplay in the bottom corner. I'm out of it. I can just mute myself too. And then you can just like watch the dog snoozing in full screen the whole time. This could be way better. This could be much better content, honestly. Finally a good stream. I'm, I mean, I get it. I do. I get it. I'm here for your pleasure. Something like that. All right, all right. Enough sarcasm. <laughs> That's a vibe right there. That puppy's living her best life. I'll tell you what. Order lol about the dogs. Did you just order lol my dog? You do have streams like Marine Mammal Rescue. I've raided Marine Mammal Rescue before. Good stream, good stream. This guy just order lulled my dog. Was she like sleeping silently, but it wasn't a good enough order? Left Paul over right Paul type of situation? Is that what it was? Person's infinite. Say it ain't so. No. It's almost like cheese comp is like way better than playing the game right now and you never leave Tavern 2. Good news. We are high health. Rocking some good guards. Potential value for the future. I'm going to need the, to go up this turn. They still got to get to something. They still got to win the game. Bro. Bro. Did we, did we win the game? Mmm, cheese. Heck, wait. Technically, I don't need both barons for the turn. Maybe I'm better off having the handless. I guess that's not guaranteed this way. I got to get out of this or this to play baron so that this is guaranteed. power change could be good never seen the cheese strat before until watching chief a couple nights ago and i thought it was thrilling to watch i mean it's literally the same thing every single game over and over and over again just do the same thing every single game kind of a silly component to the video game let's go button is a chance to triple I mean, Botany also just prints a gold and gives a six star, which is a nice card. I like a lot of reasons to keep Botany over a random undead minion. You just watch it on repeat for the whole stream? Yeah, I mean, like, it's basically the same game. You just, like, do once, do it once, and then just clip it and put it on repeat, and I could stop streaming for the day. That'd be dope. I took a vacation. <laughs> Oh, shit. Sticker snack. Only issues transitioning. Sure. Sure. Cute. I don't think we do that in this game. Part of me likes doing this, but we'd have to reborn it again, which doesn't make much sense. Mm, 
No, no, no. What would be really good is to get another Phalanx. Double triggering doesn't do anything for us. Cute. If it was earlier, it would actually pay itself back. Too bad. I didn't have all three of them gone. That's kind of sad. I could have done it. Well, I thought I only had three total minions left. I needed to sell the reborn first to guarantee the phalanx. It's all right. It gives us an extra Mergul, which it might even be better. But I probably would have taken the phalanx in that scenario. Because then you make Golden Phalanx next turn. But we do want two Mergul's in the long run. It was a three out of four hit that way. Downside is you get Mergul. If you miss. If you play it the other way, you got to burn a gold. We should have just burnt the gold. I just didn't realize we had three out of four. There's actually a four out of four line there. Patient Scout and Soul Rewinder helpful. Oh, you're talking. You, you, just, you guys have your own conversation. It's fine. You just, you, you just go your own way. Chat's off on their own tangents. Dumb amongst us was a cheese strat. Oh yeah, chat's got your back. Oh never mind, it doesn't fucking matter. We'll just go find phalanx anyway. It's not a big deal. It's just fine. It's, just, it's all it's all whatever. It's all whatever, you know. Like it's all gonna be just fine. Okay, so like everything is just go get Baron, right? And double trigger that battle cry, which is kind of cool. Turn is it 12? If we don't get anything better, it's probably the best we get. That works on any hero. Remember how broken it was with the new hero? So basically the uh the cheese comp that people are referring to is just a combination of of cards that allows you to get to a pseudo-infinite state and then snowballs to be even more efficient over time. Landlubber is a card and the ability to ramp gold on Tavern 2 with oil. Just needs aided by a couple extra cards. Whether it's buy the, the three health cost coin for free with demons. Or play toward any variety of other cards that you basically do the same job, right? Whatever that method being, you can use that to go infinite. Yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good attack order right there. Too bad we lost that one. All good though. That'll do. Hey, Bopper, did you say something about not playing meta previously, or are we just hearing things? Huh? I was just saying, cheese comp stuff doesn't doesn't interest me specifically. It'll be nerfed in two seconds and. And it's very repetitive. It's funny for the first time. And then after that, it's like, eh, seen enough. It's barren. Instead, we'll just do golden phalanx reborn stuff, which is just a different type of meta board. You know, just <laughs> do the same thing, just slightly different. Murloc or uh, oh, Undead is always our, our top here. That's actually pretty good. Here, have a stat. Exactly what I wanted. Morris. I just want to go for scaling at a certain point. Seems kind of silly. Death Rattle can give us the Reborn Giver. 
if you're looking for anything particular, we can uh, get the Reborn Giver and then permanently kill it. Ideally, we could get like another Mergul and the Death Rattle Reborn guy and then trigger it with Battle Cry, and then we don't even have to worry about the, the Phalanx. So like the big, the big thing that we could do here to be a lot stronger is to have every one of these Phalanx be Reborn on the board instead of them all being the Death Rattle version of it. Best way to do that is to cycle one spot on the board and use like a three card combo to create it. Or if we could get a ghost round or like a round where we're not worried, we can just get the undead minion that when it dies, gives undead or reborn to a minion and we can just do that to somebody. No, not that trouble. Stealth. Stealth's kind of cute. It's not really a problem here though. I should have cycled that. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Don't want another Baron. This card. Like this plus the Reborn guy, if we had one open board spot, we could just trigger it. So like you could triple the Mergul or get another Mergul to put down in his place. This plus Reborn, trigger it. It would just give all of them Reborn. I think stats what's wins here. Hmm. Got a shield for Baron now. That's probably the read. Now it can't be zapped. Okay, Bob. Okay. Okay, Bob. Missed that beaver sub notification. Some of y'all, some of y'all never, never seen Caddyshack. Is that what's going on? The beaver? Is it the beater? I think that's what's happening. Okay. Okay. We're bigger than this one. I wasn't 100% sure of that until we saw the, the odds pop up. But yeah, we're significantly bigger than that because of these guys. It can't beat us by itself. did it the gopher is just a beaver who lives in the ground i mean kind of aside from them being different animals completely that's pretty much true you know what i buy that double death rattles as a spell is another way to get stronger this is pretty good Just other things to note that make a difference. Forward state wise, we're, we're pretty much in a good spot. Ghoul. You did the funny. We did the funny. One board too late. Five armor. Yeah, I don't want to sell it. I guess that's where we are. Right? Why dog sleeping and not playing this game? I don't know. We should ask. Mr. Dog, what are you doing? Why aren't you playing the video game? He did it to us? <laughs> we did it to him. <laughs> Alright, 295. Looking kind of cute right now. No Snipe Baron. Win Lobby. Let's go. The ghouls at the end are pretty, pretty busted with this count. Cause like, even if people do get bigger than you, you rarely lose. 
you just leave the Mergul's at the end and it's like, oh, there was one gigantic ass thing. It can't get through. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Would the spell be broken if it was plus five armor instead of set your armor to five? Yes. It's already pretty strong already. Or at this point. Plus five armor, especially with pseudo infinite states that we get to in this game at this point, you would just be able to cycle a lot of boards and then go plus 15, 20, 30 health in a turn. 